when it comes to the current situation and the climate going on, when it comes to this story about Zoe Quinn and the tragic loss of the game developer Alec Holoka, we need to discuss this and try to figure out some solutions. So please do me a favor and stay until the end of this video. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics that are going on in the YouTube community or pop culture and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And yeah, I did a, a previous video on this and I've been watching how the internet's reacting. I've been watching a bunch of other people comment on this and yeah, I wanted to follow it up and I probably will be following this story because there's definitely some things that we need to discuss and we need to bring our emotions down so we can have a logical conversation. So those of you who don't know me, hi, my name's Chris. Uh, yeah, I was a victim of cancel culture earlier this year and I am so against cancel culture. I even wrote this book, Canceled Inside YouTube Cancel Culture. It's out now, ebook and audiobook. It's always linked down in the description, down in the pinned comment below. But anyways, I do have thoughts on this, but when I look at this, like, I want to end cancel culture and I think there are definitely some things being brought up that should be brought up, but I think there's also things that we're doing that are very counterproductive, all right? But anyways, let's talk about what Zoe Quinn did, the people who are rallying behind her, and just kind of how that is not helping a damn thing. So I don't know if any of you watch uh, the channel Some Black Guy, <laughs> but anyways, uh, I'm gonna link his video down below and like, yeah, man, like his video was just like, man, it was passionate and I'm like, oh, I was like, man, I need to make a follow-up video, but he touches on some really, really good points. But anyways, I do want to show this clip right here. You have this verified genius saying, innocent until proven guilty in a court is at best childishly naive and at worst dangerously obtuse when it comes to accusations of abuse. This is the shit that we're dealing with. These people that genuinely believe stuff like this, that think it's a better idea to blast people on Twitter, to participate in this cancel culture, than to actually take your shit to the police and into a court of law and try to seek justice. So yeah, I agree with some black guy, like you guys, like that is ridiculous. Ridiculous, all right? So there's an excellent book out there called So You've Been Publicly Shamed by uh, John Ronson. I highly recommend you check that book out too. But anyways, like, did you know that we got rid of public shaming here in the United States? In 1787, a dude by the name of Benjamin Rush, he worked towards getting rid of public shaming. You know, like when they put people in the stocks and like people would get like public lashings and just stuff like that. Like, it's crazy. Like people will get whipped just for the weirdest things, right? And they got rid of it. Do you know why? Do you wanna know why they got rid of public shaming? Because they said it is a punishment worse than death, all right? I want you guys to let that sink in real quick. All right, we still have the death penalty in certain states, but you cannot do public shaming, right? Like, think about that for a second, and here's why. Because of what it does to the psyche, all right? So in the Constitution, we have gotten rid of cruel and unusual punishment. And some say that public shaming is cruel and unusual punishment. So like, when I see dudes like that, who are saying like, oh, don't trust the justice system. We need to rise up. Like, are you serious? Like, the idea that the emotional, illogical hate mob is going to do a better job of justice than the judicial system is absolutely mind-blowing. Like, you guys, like, those of you who are new to my channel, I'm really big on like psychology and neuroscience and mental health and all that. Like, there have been so many studies for like, hundreds of years now, all right, going back to Gustave Le Bon, all right, about crowd psychology and how logic goes completely out the window, all right? So to even think for just one second 
that the, the internet hate mob is going to do a better job than the justice system is bananas. And check it out, check it out. Like, I get it, all right? I'm half black, okay? And something that I, you know, am, am against and hoping we'll see changed soon, and this is why you go out there and vote, is that there are disproportionate number of black people who are arrested, all right? The justice system gets things wrong a lot, okay? But this is why we go out there and vote. This is why we get involved in politics and get involved in our communities to work for change together, all right? Like, you're talking to a bunch of gamers or comic book nerds and comic book movie nerds and all that stuff like, yeah, vigilante justice, it's fun to watch in make-believe, but it is not good in real life. You know why? Because we as human beings are these emotional, irrational creatures and we get things wrong all the time. So the people on Zoe Quinn's side who are saying like, oh, well, we, we need to do this, like, Absolutely not. This needs to go through the proper legal system, all right? So a question that's been coming up is, like, people are saying that Zoe Quinn should be charged with manslaughter. Like, I don't know. Here's my question to all of you. Like, do you think there should be a punishment for something like this? Because it's something that I, I think of, this is something I think about all the time. Like, when you are attacked by cancel culture and the internet hate mob, like you wouldn't wish this on your worst enemy. So in my book, Canceled, like there are some names in it, but there are so many people who I left completely anonymous. And I tried to change some details to keep the scent off of them because like, like I said, like I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemy. And this is one of the reasons why so many people are upset with Zoe Quinn, like she did not have to publicly do this to that man, all right? And yeah, so I don't know if there, there should be some kind of punishment, but I'll tell you something that people are not bringing up. And it's the, the company that fired Alec over these allegations that were not proven yet. Like, this is something where I think we need to look at that as well, but from a company standpoint, if I'm trying to put myself in their shoes, like I get it, right? Like when the internet hate mob comes at you, you just feel like you have to act, right? You're trying to protect an entire company or maybe all of its employees. So you're like, okay, we'll just get rid of this, this one person if it gets the mob off of us. And that's one of the reasons why cancel culture needs to end. Like this doesn't just happen to companies and people freaking out and boycotting and everything. It happens to people too. Like when I was being canceled earlier this year, nobody would have my back publicly. Like they knew that if they associated with me, it could end their career. You see what I'm saying? So this is yet another issue with cancel culture, but like companies, corporations and things like that, they need to slow down and do investigations, right? Like as much as we hate when like police officers, you know, are put on like paid leave and stuff like that while they do an investigation, like I wish more places would do that. Like I wish Alec was just, you know, it was put on pause for a minute. You know what I mean? Like some things may have turned out differently. And by the way, um, there's a post that Alec made in 2016. I just wanna bring this up before I forget. And he talks a lot about uh, dialectical behavioral therapy and things like that. And I don't know, I'm thinking about breaking it down and discussing to try to help some people out there who might be struggling. So I don't have the link to that. So if any of you do have the link to that, put it down in the comments below, or let me know if you want me to find it and do something like that because he opened up a lot about mental health and I'm thinking about getting that game into the woods um, because a lot of people said it, it was really good when it came to mental health. Um, and yeah, that might be something I do on my channel is just review video games that are about mental health. I think that would be interesting. But anyways, let's get back to this. So when it comes to what Zoe Quinn did and cancel culture and everything, here's, here's what I feel. Here's my opinion on what should have happened, all right? It should have gone through the legal process. Seems like it might have been tricky because Alec was in Canada. I think Zoe Quinn is American. I'm not sure 
how that would work, but it should have gone through the legal process, right? Like lawyers should have get, got involved. Like she should have talked to people about that before blasting this dude online. Because here's the thing, and I think people like some black guy have done an excellent job saying like, we don't know if she's telling the truth, right? But I think we can all agree like her doing that was wrong. Like in this day and age, we know, we know what's gonna happen when you publicly blast somebody like that, especially if you have that many followers on Twitter, right? So it should have gone through those proceedings. But the question I wanna ask all of you is this, let's say hypothetically, right? Let's say hypothetically, somebody like Zoe Quinn did go through that process and the legal system let her down. Should she open up about it publicly, right? Because to this day, even though she has a track record of lying, we don't know if she was telling the truth. Like, I want you to think about if this was your mother or your sister, right, or your daughter, what would you want to happen if the legal system failed? Because here's the thing, months ago, months ago, Elijah Daniel, who was a YouTuber, he's a rapper and things like that, one day on Twitter, he was just going off and he was retweeting and like borderline doxing a bunch of people who were accused of assault, right? And he's just like, screw it, you know, the justice system didn't help these women, so I'm gonna put all these people on blast to all of my hundreds of thousands of Twitter followers, right? And my people are like, yeah, yeah, right? But when we look at what just happened with Alec, like, is that the right thing to do? So again, I just wanna ask you the questions, like, like what should somebody do if the legal system does fail them. I'll tell you this, you should go check out Illy Mation's videos about her dealing with her abusive ex-boyfriend. She leaves him mostly anonymous. There was some stuff that, that came out you know, after and some people were trying to track this guy down and everything. But here's the thing, like as somebody who has friends who were you know, victims of assault and things like that. I do believe there's power in people sharing their stories, but we also have to look at like how to do it in the right way. You know what I mean? Like there's a way to share your story without trying to play Batman and get this vigilante justice. You know what I mean? Now, the second half of this video, I wanna discuss the other side. Like check it out. Not even the other side, like I don't side with Zoe or anybody, but like I said, I'm against cancel culture. But the thing is, if you guys are upset with Zoe Quinn and the people following her and agreeing with her, we need to be better than them, all right? Because here's what's happening. I sit back and what I'm seeing is you're getting the people who are anti-cancel culture joining in a brand new hate mob. Like I read through the comments on my first video about this situation and it's disgusting. Like when you do that, you're not any better than they are, right? Like I see people just saying like she should die and all these other things, right? Like I get it, it's an emotional time. But like something I say at the beginning of all my videos is we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. There is no solution to be found if the pendulum just swings all the way to the other side, right? If you start canceling the people who are canceled and send the hate mob after them and start publicly shaming them, what's it gonna resolve? It's like when you sit here and look at it like, like look at just like a relationship, right? Like with significant others. And they just both keep screaming at each other. Like does, do the problems ever get resolved? No, they don't. Like somebody has to chill out in these situations if we ever hope to make movement forward, right? But I'll tell you this, and I think it's safe to say, for those of you who don't realize it, I'm against going out and attacking people, but I'm going to bring up this video from Mr. Obvious. What is basically a dream job as a game dev, or at least one of the developers, and he got fired. She ruined his life. She made a false accusation. There's no way in hell that the girl who cried wolf told the truth in the end because she's been lying her entire career. And one day it will bite her in the ass. Now I've seen Zoe Quinn. I've seen plenty of her. Like, this is a prime example of what you don't do. All right? Like, 
he said multiple times in his video that Zoe Quinn was making false accusations. He has no evidence, no proof of this, aside from a history of her lying in the past. Like, how is it any different? How is it any different to have no facts, no evidence, and go based off assumptions than what you claim the other side is doing? You see what I mean? Like, I'm as against this stuff as you are, but if we don't handle this in the right way, nothing gets solved. But anyways, I'm gonna end this with a quote which you might find cheesy, but I don't really care, all right? And this comes from Nelson Mandela. He said, you will achieve more in this world through acts of mercy than through acts of retribution, all right? So yeah, I'm gonna keep covering this story and other stories about cancel culture and all that. And don't forget, let me know down in the comments below um, if you want me to break down that post um, from Alec in 2016, because I think a lot of people can relate to that. Those of you who don't know, um, I'm a certified life coach. I'm currently pursuing my certified alcohol and drug counselor license. I've worked in addiction treatment and things like that. And what he shared is something that a lot of people go through. So if I can kind of go through that and help anybody else out there, like just let me know down in the comments. But I think I also need a link to that post. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And I wanna send out a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And a huge thank you to everybody else who supports the channel in other ways, like buying my merch, buying my books, and all that kind of stuff. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.